Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to... I was going to say welcome back to Kratos. Kind of true. Not really what I meant to say there, though. Welcome back to God of War. Um, I just kicked the air. Didn't realize you could do that. Okay, so we're going this way. Because apparently we're going to go visit the Land of the Elves. I have read up a little bit on Norse mythology between episodes here. Just to get an idea of what we're going to expect. My guess is we don't hit the nice pretty stone. Where'd the, uh... Where'd the witch go? Oh, she's up here. If I would to open this door. Alright, I can do that. I mean, Kratos can do that, but... Okay. Land of the Elves. At least from what I understand, Norse mythology is where we're going. You said Aesir, right? I believe Aesir is the Land of the Elves. Um, this looks very much like where we left. It doesn't look like we've gone anywhere at all. Can I go back to the shop this way? We might be able to. Let's see what happens. Um, it still says it's in Brock's shop. There's a big giant glowing light on the map, but there's nothing else on the map at all. Okay, so it only works in this realm, not in all the realms. So we're going to have to find more doors. Unless Brock will magically show up here as well. Could he? He might. I don't know. That seems weird, but okay. So what do you got? Okay, she's going to wait for me to open the door. Alright, sure. I'll be a gentleman. Who said chivalry's dead? I'll open the door for you. Oh, okay. We have moved. Quite a bit. Elves know how to garden, that's for damn sure. Welcome to Alfheim, gentlemen. Alfheim, that's right. Think you can spot... The light. I can barely see it. Something's wrong. Of course. See that column of light on the horizon? It's housed in the heart of a ring temple. We'll find what we need there. No. No, no, no. Damn it, not yet. What's happening? She is restricted. She's restricted to Midgard. To restore the Bifrost magic, you must step into the light. But be very careful not to get caught. She did say she was restricted to Midgard, and she went in and accompanied us hmm. on her, her journey anyway. She's not dead. Is she? No, probably not just... Not likely. Very likely just thrown Run. into Midgard. Okay, so we have to go that way and restore the Look Bifrost. This place. Stay by me. Touch nothing. Yeah, be very careful here. We don't know what the hell's going on. And this is all very okay. pretty and everything. What is that? He just keeps going ahead, doesn't he? I want to look around, kid. I want to make sure we're not missing anything. There could be, you know, two whole hacks over here. <laughs> look at that. Nine whole hacks over. Like, triple what I said. Which is kind of funny. <laughs> it almost worked. Anything else over here? No. Have you ever tried jogging this way, by the way? Is it is frustrating as fuck. Alright, anyway. Okay, that seems like something we're supposed to throw the axe at, maybe? We could try it. it. Worked. I think you killed it. <laughs> Look up there. And another one. Why give me these if they're this easy to destroy? My guess is that they act like um act like gates. Right? So that we can be blocked into a certain spot by enemies, maybe? In that case, I'm going to keep the axe out. What's that about? Not our concern, boy. Focus. It's probably an alarm system, would be my guess. Which means it is our concern. A great deal of our concern. 282 just for sitting on the road? That doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem right at all. I suspect some of these guys are going to get up. But I could be wrong. There's a rune there. Come on, you got to read this. Boy. Jimmy. What does it say? Hmm. Something about an eternal war for the light. I don't get it. If both sides need it, why not just share it? Greed. You will find it a common cause for war. Typically. Yeah, that's how that works. 
Kratos would know he was the god of war for a while. Encouraging greed actually helped quite a bit in that cause. Not to mention emissary for the god of war, the first part of his life. That's a fairy. They keep murdering the white elves. It is war. The end of one. The robed one's lost. Oh. We're gonna have to join in now? We're gonna have to join in now. Excuse me. Root. I can trip these guys also. Go back and he's out. Oh, okay. Sure, you're gonna be a jerk about it. Oh, okay, I should have pulled my Yep, done that. Come on, Root. Thought maybe that would do something. It did not, by the way. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, there was a second attack there. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. He is stazed. I'm gonna rip him apart. Okay, that's that's one way to do it, I suppose. Alright. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Where'd he go? Where the hell did he go? Oh, there he is. Hello. That's gonna explode on my shield, though. Can I be faster about that? Oh, I didn't even know I could do that. Okay, well, he's not very good by himself. Alright, I'm not very good for myself. Either. Us for? We didn't do anything. More will come. Likely. You know, I keep thinking I want their bodies to loot them. That is totally not how this game works. That's how some games work. So what is this? Um, that's a dead light elf. So, I guess they want us to side with the light elves rather than the dark elves, but we don't know anything about this battle. Maybe the light elves are jerks. Elves are usually jerks. So... Let's hold off on judgment just yet. I mean, the kid will probably want to side with the light elves because they're pretty, but you don't choose an ally based on looks. Yeah. So, these gates are probably, like, part of the light elves' defense, maybe? Did you say something? No. Oh, okay. Do you hear something, though? We're getting closer to the light. If you've heard something, you've really got to... Oh, hello. Really gotta tell us about these things. Alright, another skull to stab. Thank you, much appreciated. Another rune, or what? Symbol of courage. Sure. My guess is it's more resources for making stuff. Building stuff, improving stuff, however you want to say it. Man, this place is vast. It's kind of weird... I was gonna say it's kind of weird that Wait, the snake isn't here, but dude, he keeps running ahead. What are you doing, boy? When the compass turns gold, an objective somewhere in the area. Search the area for clues. Okay. Yeah, it's a big giant circle on the map. All right, I can get used to that. So okay, we're looking for clues. Well, there's a bunch of these. They probably have to be taken down at the Look, same time. There's a boat tangled up over there. That is true. Very good. We spotted the boat. Free the boat. Really? Really? That would not have been my first choice of things to do. Okay. Are you also a dwarf, or how does this work? Hello? I would like goods and or services. Possibly talk to you first, though. How are you here before us, dwarf? We were told our path was the only one between realms. It may be the only way for you to travel, but we dwarves are full of surprises. That is not an answer. Ah, hang on to that sense of wonder. There's so little <laughs> mystery once you've amassed the wealth of arcane knowledge that I have. Where to comb the realms for exotic resources. How to craft them into creations that defy imagination. To the novice, I'm sure it all seems like magic. The... Uh... Oh, all right. It's magic. Are you happy now? <laughs> Okay, for those of you who don't know, uh, this guy and his brother in Norse mythology also created Mjolnir, which is Thor's hammer, and a couple of other 
really amazingly powerful things. So, when he says he created this axe we're wearing, that is quite the endorsement on the power of this axe. Anyway, let's see what we can to do. We go. I don't... Oh, we have some lost items. These are items you left behind on the battlefield. Left behind on the battlefield. Um, yeah, I'm gonna claim those. Why... How would... How'd they get lost? I guess I'm just not observant and picking these things up. Is that what they're trying to tell me? Okay. We also have enchantments. We could generate a... Con well, no, we can't. We don't have enhanced dust. I'm assuming we can break these down for enhanced dust or something. Okay. We could upgrade our chest armor, which is not necessarily a bad idea. Okay. I mean, I'm not wild about the cooldown. I don't really care. So I'm not going to spend our steel on that. And we have enough hacks over. We just don't have enough steel. So, no. Wrist armor. Boosting our defense would be good, but we need Agur's gold and a lot more steel for that. Oh, wait. The Arcane Bracer is also... Which is, again, cooldown. If I was better at magic, maybe, but I don't want to be better at magic. How about our kid? And what do you have your eye on? We need, right, we need 10,000 gold and two steel. I thought we had solid, so, oh no, we need solid, not soft. Okay, okay. I guess we did upgrade to number two. This is the upgrade three. So we can't actually do that. Ah, what shall it be? What about the quiver? The quiver we could totally do. Our recharge time going up is not a bad idea. I don't know. What about the axe itself? We do have the frozen flame to upgrade it. And you know what? Since they gave us a frozen flame, I'm guessing it wasn't actually lost. I'm guessing it was just something they want us to do right now. Going from a strength 25 to 40. That's huge. How do we, how do we not? It doesn't even cost us any money. Yeah, do it, obviously. You probably shouldn't let my brother lay his hands on it again, but if he does, tell him to temper his steel longer. He's warping the bit work. Oh man, I can just imagine the arguments they had back and forth. Okay, new skills now available on the skill tab, which is great. Um, so we still have, like, other stuff. So we could make more talismans. We can't make any more Atreus armor. Atreus is basically where he can be right now. Something um, else for you, then? So, we've already got the waist armor and the wrist armor. We just got chest armor. Our pommel is currently okay. I don't think we have any reason... Okay, we do have a lot of good ones here, though. Light war handle. Strength, runic, and luck. I like the luck up, but it's only a plus one to our luck. And the runic I don't really care about. All the rest of them are minuses, so not loving that. Plus one to vitality, which, eh. Curved war handle is plus three to strength, but we already have 54. I'm pretty good where we are right now. Weighted is minus to everything. So, no. I think the answer is just a straight up no. Talismans. Unbounded potential. Talisman of Eternal Fury, which, I don't know, we're already wearing a Vitality. If we can get something for luck, I'd be okay with that. Plus 6 to Strength. Let's get Resolute Protection, which is the Vitality one we're wearing now. And Resolute Might, which adds... Actually, it would decrease... Actually, it wouldn't add to our defense at all. Excuse me? Oh, because the Resolute Protection already does, too. I understand. So we just don't go down. You know what, I'm going to keep this. I don't know if I'm ever going to upgrade it, if we can, but whatever. Okay, the Viking Waste Guard, which... Okay. That one we're currently wearing, right? No? It's different? Sure it is. Kind of weird. I thought that's what we were currently wearing, but apparently not. Defense plus 10 is not a bad idea. And I say I don't care about Runic, but maybe this is actually a really good idea. 6,000 hacks over, you say. And that adds to our defense as well as strength and runic. Not a bad idea. Borehide 1 is what we're currently wearing, I believe. 
So everything costs 6,000. Right, everything gets expensive in the Elven Realm, doesn't it? And the Reaver Tunic and the Boar Hide is what we originally started with, I believe. So the Wolf Skin just increases that, I suppose. Yeah, can you tell the difference between the Reaver Tunic and the Viking Tunic? The runes are white instead of yellow. That's about it. The shoulders also change a little bit. Obviously, the stats change also. Defense 10 versus Defense 17. Um, I'm tempted to do the Wolfskin Shoulder Guard, but, I mean, that doesn't change us all that much. I guess? So what's the difference between that and the Waste Armor? I don't mean to spend this much time on it, but... Just wondering. So we're not... I don't actually see what we have right now. I guess it's whatever we can craft here. Minus three, which isn't too bad for adding seven more to our defense. I think we can take this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm totally okay with this. Make this. There you go. Who knew? Um, yeah, equip. There you go. And so we're out of cash, I think. So we can obviously upgrade it now. Theoretically, we have the cash. Oh, and we actually totally do. Sure. I mean, that'll make plus one strength and runic and plus four in defense. That sounds like a really good deal. And gives us an enchantment slot, so that's good too. Sure, do it. That looks amazing. Okay, you don't have to go all fashion designer on me, but all right, sure. All right, so that got us to two. Huzzah, huzzah, I guess. And upgrade again, we need quite a bit more. All right. I don't think we have anything else to worry about right now. We could sell you some stuff, but I really don't know what to sell you. We had enchanted dust for this. Yeah, you know what? It's a base level enchantment. I don't know. We could enchant our... If we enchant our waste armor with it, then we pretty much negate any deficiencies we had from upgrading to this armor in the first place, right? So, yeah, I think that's what we do. More? Let me think. So let me go ahead and do that then. Um, let's see, that would be armor. And waste guard. And go to sockets. And we want to go ahead and put in I think the symbol of courage makes the most sense for this. So there you go. And there we go. Perfectly negated there. All right, so what about skills? We have skills to unlock, and sure enough, it's three for everything now. At least everything on this side. Hunter killer. Aim and hold R1 to select three targets on a single enemy or across three separate enemies. I mean, it seems like that would take quite a while, but maybe it's okay. It doesn't require anything else. This does, though. Precision throw combo now creates a massive explosion on impact. Okay. That could be good. I could definitely help clear a field. Up down here. While sprinting, press R2 to perform a massive leaping attack. Eh. Increase the amount of permafrost gain on every six will that's it. That could be good, because that basically decreases our cooldown. Not a bad idea. We already have this one here. Because that inflicts frost damage in every hit. That's why we were powering up before. While evading, hold L back and press R1 for a quick boomerang throw. Um, couldn't you do that anyway? I guess not while evading, but basically if you just throw the axe and then press triangle, they basically get it back anyway, so that seems weird. Um, whoops, that is not what I want to do. I want to do a shield tactic to see what else we can do here. So it looks like these are all open. We could do any of these right now. The matter is just how much they cost. Guardians Revenge, switch stances by pausing momentarily after any barehanded attack. Attack. This new stance, press R1. There's a lot of good stuff here. Block projectile attack. The last second absorbs the impact. Redirects the projectile back towards the attacker. Oh! We get a freaking mirror shield? Oh, man. I'm so tempted to buy that right now. Just for their mirror shield would be great. Okay. I'm in counter attack, which is good. Uh, hold on, is this only one barehanded? No, it's any projectile. That's fantastic. 
Perform a shield slam, inflict a moderate amount of stun, which is good. All these are pretty good, actually. Yeah, I really like the shield attacks. I have to use the shield a little bit more consistently. But this would encourage me to do it. Look at that. The slam with the shield, that's great. And some rage combat. What about Talon? Can, or sorry, yeah, the Talon bow here. Increase the Talon bow's firing rate, which is good. But really, we need 10,000 hack silver and some solid steel. I know it's still film steel, but whatever. To be able to really do some stuff here. So I'll tell you what. I will totally spend 500 to increase the firing rate, which is what the quiver was going to do anyway. So basically, we just bought a new quiver, effectively. We've already bought all of his other skills. So Atreus should be getting better. And I think I'm totally going to buy the Reflect. That'll help us. Well, assuming I learned how to actually, you know, use it. That should totally help us. Yeah, I'm totally going to do it. I'm totally going to do it. Mirror shield! Hoo-yah! Okay. And then, can I afford anything else, or am I actually just bone now? No, I can totally afford something else. Freezing burst. Hunter killer, which is pretty good. I like the idea. Bounces around a bunch of people. Basically say, fuck you to the laws of physics. The hold R2 just seems like a bad idea. That just seems bad. Yeah, like the holding attacks just seem like a bad idea. The combo doesn't seem great either. When evading, perform a quick axe attack, which is okay. R1 from a leaping attack, that's not bad. I mean, I don't really sprint in battle all that much, though. So those are probably wasted on me. And that requires 2,000 XP, so... We can't do that one either, because it also costs 1,000. Kind of like the three targets. Now, that hopefully is not actually taking that long. If it does take that long, that's a problem. Okay, some of these are just too damn expensive. Okay. So we need to get better about the last second blocks. Apparently they really want to work out on our timing. And that's actually kind of fair. Um, but if we manage to do that, I think that could really work out well for us here. Do a quick stomp that damages and disrupts. A forceful hate makes it an icon with backward. Backward I don't care so much, although Talon will try to... Or, sorry, I keep telling him Talon. Atreus will try to take advantage of that. I think we're just going to go with last second kick here. Can't go ahead and buy it. And I spent way too long on that screen, so let's get the hell out of the way from here. Now, the one is to free the boat. Um, I don't really see a way to do that aside from just hitting things, and it probably has to be done... Atreus, here! Yeah, here we go. That's what we want. So we line all these guys up. There you go. So, is ours now? Naval law, right? You free the boat, it's yours? Pretty sure that's how that works. Anything else here we need to pick up? There's like a bunch of spears. Why are the Dark Elves just leaving their spears in the light elves? That doesn't make any damn sense. Okay, anyway, let's jump in. I'm assuming he's going to carry this to the water. Or push it, sure. Yeah, like you're helping. You I said nothing. Really? Okay. And we know Atreus is a demigod, so he has powers, he just doesn't know it yet. He could probably use a bow seven times his size, but maybe he just Did hasn't... mother speak of this realm? Come into his powers Not yet. much. Just that since the elves are always fighting over the light, they kept them isolated. I'm wondering what this is over here. It looks like something just in the water. I have no idea where I'm going. I guess just this way, I suppose. Alright, can you lift that or something? What are we doing? We're docked? Oh no, he's just... Okay. Dew of cooldown. Drink from the Dew of the World Tree brings lasting benefits. Cooldown permanently increased by two. Okay, then. That's interesting. Not what I was expecting at all. So that must be another collectible we can grab from the world. So we'll try to keep an eye out for that. We probably have to go into the cave, right? 
does seem like that sort of thing. Huh? I'm gonna turn. Again, I said nothing. Where? Could have sworn you said something. What is it, boy? Oh. Voices. You don't hear that? I hear nothing. It's going away now. It was screaming. Lots of voices. Angry. You really didn't hear that? No. It felt... evil. You gotta be way more specific, kid. What the hell does evil feel like? Well, I suppose it's not good. Okay, so we'll try to figure that out. I mean, if the Dark Elves are attacking our kid, we totally gotta wreck him, right? I mean, that just seems reasonable. Okay, so we can't go back this way, at least not on boat. So spin that baby right round, Kratos. And I guess we'll go through the cave, because I don't know what else we're going to do here. It is foggy as fuck here. And you might ask, how foggy is fuck? Well, it's this foggy. It's exactly this foggy. Anyone ever says, how foggy is fuck? Or it's foggy as fuck. You know, this is how foggy they're talking about. Apparently no other dock that I can tell, unless that's a dock. There's no circle on it. I was kind of hoping we'd just be able to jump up there, but that's totally not how that's going to work. Okay, I'm avoiding the cave for no real good reason. Other than the fact that it seems like a trap. But let's go ahead and go in. Let's go in. Alright. See, not a trap. And we bonked a couple of times, but not like the boat is a health bar. Unlike some games, Witcher 3. Look, <laughs> just can you talking to them? No. But maybe they need help. They do not stop us, so they do not concern us. But they maybe... do not concern us. I don't know, I'm kind of with the kid here. We are strangers in this land. If we could manage to get some goodwill going. I mean, they're already gone, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm kind of with the kid here. We gotta help him out. Prove that we are not, you know, going to murder them in their sleep. Not that, you know, we necessarily hold that, but... And we are, after all, Kratos, the god of war. Well, previous god of war. The Greeks probably aren't actually around anymore to worship him. Um, so there's no docks whatsoever. They just want to take us to this very pretty place. I'm mean, not going to be wrong. It's pretty. But you're not going to... Like, have any place for us to stop or anything? Look at that. That must be the Ring Temple. Lake of Light. Okay. Okay, well, flag here does indicate there's a spot to stop. It's a very tiny little spot, but I'm going to take it. Not that I know what the hell we're going to do here. Look, they have sand bowls in Alfheim, too. Is there also a puzzle here? I need to write certain runes down and... Should I read it? Oh, well, there's already something in it. Sure, go ahead. What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. But I don't see any runes around here. Oh, we must find it. Back to the boat. Without me or within me, death is sure. When I'm with you... Water water. You're surrounded by it. It's water. Damn, I can't just... I think you're right. The runes aren't here. Maybe okay. we should head to the temple? I mean, it's water. The answer is water. Without me or within me. And then, of course, with, and of course, if it hits within you, then life is assured, right? It's water. Come on, just think about it for like two minutes. I'll give you like two minutes to think about it. Come on. Come on. Adrius, you're smart. You're smart. Think about all the stories your mother told you. It's but sad the elves can't work things out. I'll find such a beautiful place, but war makes it ugly. You see with the eyes of a child. In war, a soldier sees beauty only in the blood of his enemy. The rest of him is lost. Sometimes never to return. You know about war, don't you? Wars are fought for two things. Survival or advantage. Battles may be won by the better soldier, 
Wars are won by those who are willing to sacrifice everything to ensure victory. Okay, more bad guys. I'm assuming this guy's a bad guy. He doesn't look very friendly right now, but we'll see. Um, hello, would you like to... Nope, okay. He doesn't want to do anything about that. Oh, he's got a friend. I'm gonna stun him though, I'm gonna stun him. He's stunned, he's stunned, he's stunned. Keep stunning him, keep stunning him. And... Come on, yeah, yeah, throw him into something, come on. How is he not down yet? There we go, he's out, he's out. Oh, I thought I had tipped the shield in time. I did not. Got two little snake guys. Where's it gonna pop? Where are you gonna pop? I hear you. I hear you. Oh, here we go. Oh, see, I thought I hit the shield in time. Be ready then. That didn't work. Okay. I need to be able to get enough distance. Here we go. Oh, didn't hit the father, it hit you. There we go, that one hit me. Good hits, good hits, good hits. Okay, one down. Where's the other guy? Where are you at? Actually, pull my axe this time. Where the hell is he? How did he go? Oh, here he is. Come on. Okay, he's done. And I think that was it. Alright, why are we here? <laughs> That's a very good question. So we can figure out the riddle means water? Come on, if I can figure out, you guys have got to be smarter than me. Some nightmares there. One down. Focus up. We good? Kid didn't even come near us. I'm kind of surprised the beast here updated with that little tiny kill, but okay. There's nothing else here, right? I don't see anything. There's a crystal here for... I don't know what the hell those are for. Fire. Uh, fire within you could also be the answer, but I don't think so. Fire within you would mean life. Doesn't really seem to make a whole lot of sense. Fire is in you, you're gonna die. Unless it's not literal fire, I suppose. But I think the riddle is supposed to be taken literally. So I'm pretty sure the answer is one. Okay. Let's hang on to One of six. I will totally try. Hang on to this. Can't jump up this way. Yeah. Okay. So that's where we come down from somewhere. I keep doing that. Let's stop to that. Alright, good go that way, but I'm kind of curious about this door over here that wouldn't open for us. It's locked magically. Yep, and I guess we'll just have to come back when you find magic, kid. Not that I know when that's going to be. Alright, let's try going to the left here and see what's here. Um, some things up top. Probably have to destroy them in some kind of order. Let's see what happens. Yeah, they come back pretty quick. So I need to destroy them at the same time, it looks like. So we discovered from the last time that that's just a matter of perspective. Probably on the other side here. Maybe. Yeah, might be able to... Might be able to hit it, jump, and then hit all three of them at once. Uh, lining this up is going to be tricky here. What you could do is, like, throw over to this one, and then the return trip might take it back to the others. Oh, no, no, no. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb is what I am. Remember, we have the ability to choose targets. Okay, hold on. I gotta be able to figure out how to do that. Okay, 
one, two, three would be nice. If you can just hit those, that'd be great. Almost worked. Oh, there you go. No, come on, you got it. You telling me that didn't work? You're telling me that didn't work? There, that worked. Okay, put that back. Didn't actually work the way I expected it to, but it still worked. Oh, this is only hack silver? Didn't pay attention to the chest. Still, I'll take it. We need the hack silver anyway, but I'm a little disappointed about the reward. I was hoping for something a little better. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. Oh, but this chest is nice. Another rune, maybe? <laughs> Survey says. Heavy runic attack. Three powerful slam attacks that launch enemies and then send them flying. Okay. So that's instead of the anvil. Freeze all enemies called the blast radius as opposed to this one, which is... Looks like you need to get three strikes in order to actually work. Eh? I mean, I guess it adds stun. Yeah, kind of like... Eh. Also, I didn't realize you could spend experience to upgrade the runic attacks. That's interesting. It does have one stun. No frost damage on it, but that could be okay if we get against any frost giants, which it won't affect anyway. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we have a hell of a frost damage on this one now, which I guess could freeze. I don't know. We'll keep the frost damage for now. I and mean, these aren't going to go anywhere, so it's fine. Okay, is there anything else in this island, or are we just actually done now? Well, I mean, the temple, but we can't go inside the temple. We already went that way, and we didn't find anything, so I guess we're done. All right, let's go. All right, so I mean, we're just gonna basically do left hand rule. I'm gonna follow the walls, left hand walls as far as they can take us, unless we see another flag that Sindri indicates said dock. Mother was a warrior. Was she in a war too? Of a sort. Her family was decimated by hostile rivals, and she alone survived. She walked the warrior's path, but her war was to live on, to brave an unforgiving world alone. And that's why she has Sindri and Brock to make her the axe? She had the strength to wield such a weapon, and the wisdom to use it for good. She found purpose in protecting the weak. So, she'd help out the elves? No. <laughs> I think she actually would. If Freya is, in fact, the goddess Freya, then we're talking about Odin's wife here, who is now Kratos' wife. So that's interesting. The blue door. That's got to be the entrance. Let's go. Yeah, be careful about that, kid. We're not careful, quite... boy. What are they doing? Oh, nope, that's some dark elves with. Okay, sure. Just wreck the doorway. They covered the crystal with that stuff. Why? To prevent reinforcements. Hello, guys. Try that out for size, see if that works. Oh, okay. Did not plan on that, but that worked out. He's out, he's out, he's out. Wreck him. Funny they all try the same move. Okay, you take care of one guy. Oh, excuse me. Rude. Attacking the kid like that. Right, right. Right, right. Excuse me. Yeah, so it's gonna burst. Let it. Roll away, roll away, roll away. Oh, I thought I was going to shield up there. It didn't work. Freeze. I don't want to deal with you right now. Oh, 
you're right, you're right. That was fire. That was fire. That was. Bash him. Okay, you just took out your own guy. How you feel about that? But you're feeling a little conflicted, huh? How about that for confliction? That didn't actually make any damn sense. But hey, they're alive, or rather, we're alive, and they're dead. So, bonus points there. Did I actually grab that health? Did he just throw it at me, basically? Okay. Alright, so this seems like something we need to roll, but Maybe where? We can fix the bridge from down there? Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay, so that did some It thing. did. Prepare yourself. Oh, more guys. Okay. Stay away from my son, please. It's just rude, honestly. Oh, I thought I was going to hit him on the rebound there. That did, though. <laughs> Stay down. Good hits, good hits. Okay, can I trip this guy, please? Thank you. That's very helpful. Knock him out of the air, and there you go. Okay. What is problem with us? We do not belong here. That is very likely the problem with us, yes. New tip added. Oh, probably on how better to take care of these guys. That's fair. Looking for that might not be a bad idea. Can't walk that way. Okay, so what are we supposed to do? Just raise these? Okay. I mean, I can do that. Evo, I... Oh, okay, it's stuck. Oh, there we go. And... There you go. It kind of looks like Loki Wait, horns. Combined together like that, they kind of look like a room. It doesn't make sense. Come back to the sand bowl. Is that the rune for water? Because I mean, I wouldn't know. What's that? What's what? Are you hearing voices again? Because you know that's a problem, theoretically. Still gonna do left hand rule here. I don't know if we actually need to do it, but I'm gonna do it anyway, because who knows, there might be another island. There could be an island in the middle too that I'm just not gonna get Father, to with left hand rule. You ever know anyone else who heard voices? I knew desperate yes. men at sea who, when our supplies ran dry, would quench their thirst by drinking seawater. They swore the sirens, evil creatures singing to them from nearby islands, were in fact their wives and daughters calling them home. They endangered the crew. Steering us toward the reefs. Um, how did you fix them? We <laughs> threw them overboard. Yeah. Oh. Well, <laughs> good thing I didn't drink any seawater. Right? Yes, it is. Yeah, we'd hate to have to throw you overboard. He, would he do it, though? His own son? It's so hard to tell with Kratos. He might. Oh, here we go. Hello. Hello, guys. Wanna jump at me? There, have that. Have that. that. Above me, he said. Okay, got him just in time. Shut up. Probably a little early, to be honest. But that one's dead. Sorry, that was left. I don't know what I was thinking. Margo, where? Exactly. Okay, there he is. Remember, we need to time this exactly right, and then it bounces right back. Oh, okay. Didn't even see that one. That didn't work. That didn't work. Wait for the next one. These don't hurt that much. Oh, that hurt, though. That was bad. That was preemptive. Try that again. Almost. Oh, there he goes. We got it. We got it. That kind of worked too? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. All right. I hope we get more experience for those because that was kind of fun. I love the mirror shield technique. That is great. I want more of that. I did lose a little bit of health, but I think it's totally worth it. Okay, so he's just jumping that. All right. This seems like it should do something. Let's see what it does. 
Oh, it's got to be a timing puzzle thing, maybe? We have to run through it? Yeah, we do. Okay. Well, do we, though? Because usually with these, what it comes down to is you have to throw the axe. And that freezes it somewhere. I don't know. We'll have to think about that. In the meantime, thank you for watching. This has been God of War on Peace Universe, your Peace Universe 2, and I'll see you guys next time.